Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to try out a new game called The Alchemist Code and it's uh, developed by and published by Gumi Inc and it is a very very interesting Japanese mobile strategy RPG game which is very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics which I like very much and this game combine a little bit of elements of Brave Frontiers and a little bit of uh, turn-based strategies uh, 3D turn-based strategies which is one of my favorite okay so let's get down to the gameplay and go down to a quest I'm gonna try out the story quest and let you see what this game is about up front and uh, I'm gonna try out uh, okay this this particular level when you go into a, a new game, you can actually select different team that you have actually, uh, you know, uh, set up for different kind of levels. And each individual characters you have have different elements. For example, I got two fire elements. One uh, earth, the green color element. The white is the light element, and there's a dark element as well. And you can hire mercenaries from the public. Uh, I will reserve the level 75 for later stage, which is a very very hard stage. I personally will choose the level 1 characters because I'm very confident about my own characters. Uh, I will not die. And the substitute characters are the one that uh, when, when your own main characters die, the substitute will just jump in and you know replace them but if the main character dies the the, the particular match is over <laughs> there are some items that you can actually equip for your battles but usually i do not use them unless necessary okay so let's go i like the quality of the sound effect the music and of course the the, the feel of the whole game itself Okay, each level of each quest, there is a secret chest that you can actually uh, collect uh, other than killing the enemies. Okay, and the user interface right, is very simple. You can use two fingers to, to turn your world around, maybe in 180 degrees, but not, not uh, 360, I think it's like less than 180 degrees. You can actually turn around and see what exactly that you are fighting with. And for this particular characters is an archer you can actually shoot within a couple of range but for the archers you cannot shoot nearby enemies you can only shoot them at a distance one two three three steps away and uh, one steps at the side before you can actually attack them but it's actually uh, highlighted that you can attack this person so let's attack so i'm going to use this to attack this And I kill this person, <laughs> this monster. <laughs> you notice the the chest is on the top right side. If you never turn turn things around, sometimes you might miss it. After every turn, you can choose where the the character is facing. Okay, uh, for this particular thing, I will get a battle preparation so that I'll have an increase uh, defense and avoidance. And I'm gonna face forward. If you attack an uh, enemy from behind, you have an increased uh, damage. So that is one of the strategies. Do not turn away uh, from the enemy because if the enemy attack from behind, you, you will get higher damage. I can use a basic war arts, this is a rock horse, to attack this character. Hmm, face forward. Okay, that's good. Ah, oh, you got sleep spells. <laughs> Healing spells. I'm going to kill this guy. It's a combo attack. Face forward. Oh no, the spears. The spears can attack two square in front of the, the, the character. I'm going to go forward. And combo attack. This one. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna face uh, forward. Okay, I'm gonna surround this character and attack. Okay, I'm not gonna attack this last character first because the chest on the top right side I haven't collect yet. Okay, I'm gonna collect this chest. 
and uh, end and uh, face backwards. Nice. Okay. After you collect the last chest, right, you can choose to actually attack yourself or you can press the auto. You automatically attack. The the AI of the the automatic attack sometimes it's not very not very clever and you actually move to the wrong place and, and you'll get yourself in trouble. So do not overly depend on the AI unless you know your characters are way I would say way uh, uh advanced than the enemy. Okay, you can send a request. Find me at this uh user code. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, just pause the the video and you can see my user code, and then you can actually add me as friend. And I can assign one of my best characters. So far, it's the healer. So you can use me as a healer and you know play together as me as a mercenaries characters for you to use, which is a uh, level twenty one currently. Hmm. Okay, from here I go to the units, uh, I go to my new characters, which is this level 1 characters. And I'm going to show you how I level up my characters. You can press the enhance unit on the bottom right side, and then use the apples uh, to increase their levels. So from level 1 to level 21, I can use the forbidden apples. And I got to level 19. And let me see the uh, apple of accomplishment. And I got them to level 21, which is the max level of my personal levels at this point. If I go up higher, I can go higher levels. Uh, th there is also the evolv evolution. Uh, you can actually gather all these items to evolve your characters to higher variety. You can also have the limit plate uh, break. You need to get the shards of these particular characters in order to limit break uh, these, char these characters and increase the statistics of these particular characters and you can also increase the abilities over here abilities it costs zany which is the in-game currency for you to level up this skill okay so i uh, level 8 which is pretty pretty high right now and you can see the higher the level the more equipment you can equip okay i'm gonna equip more items here you notice I've uh, increased a little bit of statistic on the left side. It's just plus, 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 and job level up. Okay, I learned a new abilities. You can see there's a new abilities here. I can level this this new abilities up. Okay, I, I've uh, ran out of skill points. Okay, I can craft items using existing materials that I have, and craft a new item. So you can see I got. Uh, 20, 26, 36 items. Uh, I can just gather one of each and craft one items. And I can equip this particular item and job level up. <laughs> okay, every 10 minutes, which I have already passed the 10 minutes, I can actually get one free summon, which is very, very interesting. That means you can keep coming into this game and get new summon every time you come back in. Uh, and just 10 minutes, you get a new item. These are new shards. Uh, seal soul shards for the limit breaks but I don't think I have this character yet so basically this game is almost never ending but the only thing that is ending is um, all the characters that you have gathered and you complete all the story quests the event quests and there's so much so much things that you can do in this game and I, I really like this game a lot because it, it got all, all the things that I'm, I'm really 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 like it's the turn-based strategy game in a 3d environment very similar to war of Ustrap, uh final fantasy tactics and of course i like the brave frontier uh, hero characters collection kind of feel the leveling uh, and, and enhancing of each individual characters using uh, equipments gears and uh, uh, limit breaks and uh, of course uh, the, the the rarity increase and there's so much things that you can actually mine and gather as well and that's one more thing is you can also uh check out the the talking chat there's a world chat there is also different channel that you can actually, uh, ask your friends to go to a uh, different channel to talk uh privately if you want to uh if you check out individual characters you can also block that person if they are bothering you uh and you can also uh, add them as friends as a friend request um, there's so, so many things to discover 
and even the character's uh, name you can actually change the name you can change the main assigned mercenary characters for your friends to use as a mercenary there's so many things <laughs> i cannot finish talking about this game until you play it and you realize this game is so much thing to explore right so basically that's it for this the alchemist code by the gumi inc and i hope you guys like this video and if you like do give me a thumbs up share to your friends and subscribe for more awesome videos thank you very much and have a nice day see ya bye bye